I'm not where I'm supposed to be I'm going in circles, going in circles I should get away from here There's a better place for me, better place for me Trying to play my symphony But there's so much noise around, so much noise around Constantly fighting for space I need to clear my mind, need to clear my mind I wanna be empty, be empty So this is the Fruitville Streetscape Project. Uh, this is our bold plan to turn Fruitville Road into a place where you would like to walk. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> if it was true that you could take a four-lane road and make it move just as efficiently with two lanes and single-lane roundabouts, every single state department of transportation in the country would be doing this. You know, you think of the great streets of the world like the, like the Avenue Diagonal in, um, in Barcelona, you know, the great Parisian boulevards, and if we want to aspire to be a great city, we, can think of, we should think about making our roads habitable into public spaces. They like to say, oh, you can move just as much traffic with two lanes as you can with four. Is that true? Well, great, so let's go to Ringling Bridge. Let's take, off a, take a lane off of each side. We should be able to move as much traffic, right? Mm. Do you believe that? Mm. I don't believe that. The first thing we can do is uh, comes out of the downtown 2020 master plan and that is to eat up the bike lanes and put and bump out the sidewalks so we've got enough room for shade trees where are those cars going to go if we if we could if we choke off the traffic here um if we look at the real count data it has been flat for the past few years so even assuming any growth is actually a conservative assumption it, well, it doesn't seem to make sense to me if you narrow the path for cars that it would actually increase the flow of traffic zero percent that, that's their 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 assumption zero percent population growth on fruitville road do you believe that I've been going out to all these different stakeholder groups to get their buy-in. Of Longboat Key opposes it. Lido Key Residents Association opposes it. Bird Key Homeowners Association opposes it. Uh, the the Herald Tribune and the Observer oppose it. And one of the impetuses for this is that uh, we have to go through and replace all of these signal mast arms in the next few years anyway. So, and that's that's I think a little under four million dollars uh, just to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're already at it, if we're already spending this money on the street, we might as well take this opportunity once in a generation to make it right. So with option one, yeah, we make wider sidewalks and then, uh, oh, and here's the, here's the animation. So, um, and this option one is for the entire length of Fruitville from uh, about Lynx Avenue all the way to 41. So we widen the sidewalks and that allows us to put in shade trees so it becomes habitable. You can walk along there, you won't get burnt to a crisp. You know, hopefully uh, it's cool enough that you're not frying eggs on the sidewalk. <laughs> and that makes it a, a much more um, active space and more social space. There is, a, with five feet, it's just enough room to put in the sidewalk cafe uh, along the street. Uh, just one row of tables and chairs. So, but it becomes a much better corridor, a much more comfortable corridor. Yeah. It's important to realize this is an animation. <laughs> this is not reality. This was designed by Chris Hoyt Architects and they were paid by the city to make the project look good. And so option two is wide sidewalks plus roundabouts. Go to the video. Um, what we've got, you can see the transformation and this is from the portion from Orange Avenue uh, through coconut. So this will come in from two lanes and then now it just narrowed into one mm -hmm. is what we're seeing here. And then it comes into one of the roundabouts. Right, and it, and it's part of the city's goal to put in, uh, it's one of the city's goals to put in um, public art in all the roundabouts. So we're actually one of, I think we're the first city in the whole state to put in art in the roundabouts on US 41. So. <laughs> Uh, on, on F. Dot Road, so we've got room for for dolphins, for Roman emperor statues, you know, or or whatever the uh, uh, whatever the, the public taste is. So, um, but this allows us to make it um, into attractive into an attractive cityscape where you'd want to walk through. Yeah. And so, how 
how will this process then play out? You go to the city commission, mm -hmm. uh, you get approval from them. Mm -hmm. uh, does it go to a vote of the people? Does this have to go to like a? Uh, is there a, some kind of referendum, or how does how does this? No, it, this it, is just approval at the city level, and then right. it goes. We do the public outreach to make sure we've got the public support. Um, this isn't like a like the legacy trail. We're not doing a bond referendum or anything, so um, so it doesn't go out to a vote there. But it does go to the city commission, uh, as they're the representatives. Yeah. So, um, so with their approval, we can proceed with design, and then in, and and then over the next few years, try to pull together enough funding to proceed with construction. Yeah, I guess if, if I'm playing devil's advocate, then that raises a red flag, too, that this hasn't been done more publicly, if you will. Because it's not just the city residents that mm -hmm. are going to experience Fruitville, right? They live there. So, of course, I might want to turn the highway outside of my house into a residential walkable street. Uh, but what about the commuters? What about the whatever? Like, are they being like, how is the public sentiment outside of just the neighborhood? being gauged or interacted okay. with. Well, that's why um, we did go out to Lido and to uh, Bird Key. They're interested in publics. And uh, before this gets approval, it goes to a public, publicly advertised meeting at the city commission. Also, how they're hearing. Yeah, probably for like anybody that. from the general public to, uh, yeah, to voice their concerns or their approval. Question that comes yeah. to my mind is how do you pay? You know, who pays? Where's the money coming for this project? Right. So I think, um, It'll take a little bit to put together the funding for the project. Um, what we'd like to do is start uh, with uh, engineering design and then uh, put together enough to have a match, like a 20% match, something around there, so that we can get federal funds or grant funds to build uh, for a good portion of it. I think in terms of where we can get the biggest bang for buck for transportation improvements in town, I think this is really one of the spots where the city can focus investment to get a real transformation. So, Great. yeah.